Today we'll look at the Advanced Steel Project Explorer and look at why use levels and how this can utilize your time. So let's get started. Activate the first level. You'll find that the UCS is going to jump. It's a little bit below, so you want to move that up to World Coordinate System. So now I'll put in some columns. Once I put in the columns, the properties are going to come up and I can also verify that they're on the proper elevation. In the event you don't see your columns, go to the quick views and select all visible. Now that's done, I'll activate level one. I'll create primary and secondary beams. Now see the UCS has jumped. Let's just put it back to world. So I'm going to right now start with my primary beams and I'm using the node. Oh snap. So once that's done, the property is going to come up. I'll position it at top of steel, put in a model roll and change out the section size to what I need and X out. From the tools category, we have a measure tool set that allows you to measure the beams in increments. From this point, I'll put in my supporting beams and you'll see that I'm using the node O snap and the perpendicular. I'm not copying them. I have to create the beams individually because copied beams will not adapt to the required height change. We're going to change the height from the levels properties. So create them individually. I'll change the section size then the position top of steel and give it a model row. I've added a connection at grid 1A. I'll select the level text and go to the properties. And you can see all of the elements have been created on the level. I'll change out the level. I'll put it at 10 feet. Select OK. All the elements, including the connection, have moved to the elevation height defined in the levels properties. 